Well, it's like they say, you can't have too much of a good thing. So we're having a mosquito. Then also a beaver and a fish, just for their stats. Not sure how this first round is going to go, but like always, I don't care. The beginning doesn't really matter that much. Oh, look at all those ducks. Too bad they had to nerf them and ruin all my fun. So we're going to go with two mosquitoes, two fish, and some honey. And that team only has four units, so I think we're going to be okay, considering most of them are ducks, but ducks are top hats. Now let's use something reckless and stack the two fish and the two mosquitoes together. I'm then going to freeze a rat and do a spin, hopefully getting another rat. Well, actually, those stats will kind of carry me for now. That's two, four, five. Suppose we're going to give that to our fish. He's also a four or five. And again, we're fighting a team with only four idiots. They do have a badger on the end, which is really annoying for me, though I don't think we're even going to get as far as the badger. Plus, the rats might work against me at some point, but that loss doesn't matter. Because we're going to freeze this fish, we're going to do a spin when we don't really get anything better. We're going to save this pill in case we get a turtle. We're going to stack the rats because I only want so many of those. And we're going to spin one more time to get a swan, which is also going to help me because that's extra money. We're going to stack the fish. He levels up. He gives a Wanotsu boost, and then we also get a rabbit. We're not going to keep the rabbit, though. Tempting for some of those, some of those, moving on. That team I fought last round was strangely strong considering how close we are. Though these guys do have a 9 something pig. Huh. Lots of strong teams here today, but at least that's a draw thanks to my B. It did at least give us another swan. We'll stack some of those up. I can actually do a super strong swan build if I feel so inclined. The beaver is probably also going to get sold pretty shortly. And I think his time is up. We're going to sell the beaver. He's going to boost uh, those two for better or worse. Then we're going to put the giraffe behind the swan. We're going to freeze the garlic armor and spin a few times just in case we get something like that. So now we get a better swan and also a parrot. A parrot is a pretty good one to have this early on. Plus we spin again, we can stack up another draft, plus we have those for when we get the appropriate idiots. This team doesn't seem super strong, but uh, we'll see how we deal with them. We got some strength in our lineup now, but not a ton still. But we're going to take out their mouse, and we win. We still had a bee with a fish. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what it is we want to keep or not. We want to stack the giraffes because those can be very good. We want to give the swan him. Then I guess we're going to do some rolling, hoping for something a little bit better than what we're finding. Not very good luck with the spawn so far, but we did finally get our turtle that we can red pill eventually. So I'm going to freeze everything there, and we're, I guess we're just going to give some honey to maybe the giraffe for now. And then we're not fighting a superstar lineup, but they do have some good abilities that can annoy me. That penguin in particular could be a problem, but my swan is actually pretty strong already. Didn't realize he was that far ahead. Another victory. I really want to do a badger build at some point. I think we got him a little too late to do it here, but it's it's in the works. Look at all that money we have. So we can finally go like that. We're going to put the turtle there. We're going to swap his armor out for the melon armor. I'm going to freeze the badger just in case I happen to get something better. But the penguin's definitely going to step in here too. He's probably going to boost... Hmm, we're going to take the rat out in place of a badger. I don't know if that was a great idea, but I want some boosts for all my idiots. Now we get a hippo, garlic. We'll save that for next turn. There's another hippo. Don't care. Now we have a 9-9 swan with melon armor. And the rest of the lineup doesn't have a ton of strength, but we're going to uh, take out their swan. And we're going to take their kangaroo out. They're probably banking on that one to do some damage. But now we're in a little bit of trouble again because we're not going to finish him off. That's okay. That last turn was a bit of a transition turn, we'll call it. So we were just waiting to get to a new spot. Fortunately, we got a seal. Did I also have these laid out like this last time? I don't know why I left it like that, but that was not what I wanted. But also, let's be annoying, and uh, whoever has to fight that badger at the end is going to have to deal with that damage. There we go. Now this swan's up to a 12-12 with melon armor. And he's going to uh, fight a deer, turns into a bus, and then we're going to start tearing through everything because... That swan's actually pretty strong with that melon armor. We're getting lots of low builds or low rolls. I'm going to freeze that for a second as we do a 12. You know, we'll just go like that right now. We might as well use all this money. Uh, I don't know. Let's stack up this swan. I was tempted to give the apple to someone. I still might. Oh, the pear's a better choice anyway. So we're going to give the pear to probably the badger. After rolling once more, still not getting a lot. We got a dolphin but I don't want to use a dolphin right now. So we'll give boost to whoever we want. And then there were a 16-16 swan. We are starting to get to the point though where we're going to run into stronger things like that. So we're in trouble now. We can't keep up with a team like this. We had too much deviation along the way. Look what we still have to deal with. I wish I could have a monkey. We did get a rhino though, so I really need to decide what direction I want to go with this build. I think the giraffe can probably go... He's kind of like the penguin light, but I need something stronger in his position, which might be the rhino. I could be really annoying and do a rhino with a parrot behind it. That would mean selling a fish, and the rhino's stats aren't super high yet. But let's try that anyway, because then we can stack up two parrots at least. And yes, this is a huge gamble to do at this point, because if I don't fight a fairly weak team, I'm doomed anyway. But we have a level two parrot, and there's also a fly. 
and a turkey. So if we want to switch to a summoning build next round, we probably conceivably could. Uh, well, we're going to take out him. Then we're going to take the melon armor off him. So that's not too bad overall. I can't believe I just got away with that. But we got a victory. Five trophies. Oh, now we've got two flies and a parrot. I mean, I don't entirely know how to do a summoning build, but I think I'm going to give it a try. I might regret this. So I've sold those two for now. I want to keep the swan. Uh, there's going to be a turkey somewhere, but then we need a fly. Friend faint summon a 5-5 five, five fly in its place. I think I want the parrot to also copy that. That way we're going to spawn two flies with 5-5. Five, five. We could spawn potentially more, but I think I'm okay with this so long as I go like that and then we roll... Oh, there's also a boar. Now I want to swap back the other way. I'm in a glass case of emotion! There's so many hard decisions to make. Well, for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw that out there to give everything a little bit more strength. And hopefully this works the way I think it does. I almost never use a summoning build, but that was a good time. And we have a 21-21 swan up front with melon armor, so he's going to be super annoying to deal with by himself. Like, he just walked most of the way through their team. There's a 13-13 fly. There's two 13-13 flies. The first one doesn't spawn properly because it doesn't have room as I understand, but there's six trophies. And it's a shame that uh, this boar wasn't a little stronger on spawn because he would replace that swan and do really annoying things to that team. I think I'm just going to give a mushroom to someone so they can come back to life and hopefully save the day. We're also going to throw that down because it's kind of unlikely we're going to get the duplicates. We want. Wow, look at all the good stuff we're getting. Like the tiger, the snake is a really good combo. The monkey is great. So is the boar. We could have actually done a really good boar build here as well. But I'm going to increase uh, your value, so now you summon a 10-10 fly. This is such a weird, janky build, but it might actually work. And everyone gets boost now because the penguin is boosting everyone. So now we have a 24 swan up the front who's going to take out the camel. We're going to trade there. Uh, but now we have 13-13 flies that are going to annoy everyone very badly. <laughs> this build's kind of fun just because of how annoying it is. That was trophy number seven. But things are not going to get any easier as they go, so let's give some boosts and then see what else we can stack up to annoy people. I'll save the pepper for a second because I might just give some creatures some boosts like that. I need a stronger swan for sure though also, so I'm just going to go like that. I just need something to be able to do huge damage and tank through huge damage. So he's up to 29. The parrot itself is 20 and 16. I'm just really worried about running into something mm, kind of like this. Because that hippo is kind of a counter uh, spawning build because it takes a lot of my units to chew through him. By the time we do, we're dealing with a very annoying kangaroo who uh, was the end of us. That was actually a really fun build. We flip-flopped a few times and got our way with it. If it wasn't for that stupid hippo being a counter summon, we would have walked through that. Okay, this one started out kind of weird, but suddenly it's shaping up into something that could be pretty special. We've got a boar up front, who's basically being uh, copied by a second boar behind him in the parrot. We have a bison that's getting leveled up by a level 3 mosquito. So for now, we're going to sell the swan. We're going to put the monkey in because he's going to boost the boar. The boar is now level 2. I'm going to unfreeze some of the... I'm maybe going to freeze you, but unfreeze you. I'm tempted to put the chili on the boar to make some extra damage happen. Uh, instead, we're going to give the boar a nice boost because he's going to kind of be my centerpiece. And I'm really looking for melon armor too. If we could get some of that, that would be great. For now, he's going to get garlic armor. We're going to save the turtle. Now, when we end the turn, uh, the bison gets a boost and then the monkey boosts the boar up to 1916, which isn't super strong right now, but strong enough he could probably carry through a lot. And he's good for uh, countering summons too, because he's going to get a little bit of healing every time he has to deal with one. Oh, okay, so the parrot doesn't copy what the boar does, if I just saw that correctly. So that's not great, but it was a draw ultimately. Uh, that's okay, because I've got a fun new idea anyway. The parrot's actually going to go. That kind of hurts, but life hurts sometimes. So we're going to put the turtle down. We're going to red pill it. That's going to give the boar melon armor instead. And then we're going to put a snake behind the boar. A parrot behind a snake also would have been really cool, but then these two don't synergize. So rolling one more time, I'm just going to go like that. And then we're going to end the turn. So we're going to get a boost there and a boost there. Now every time the boar attacks, the snake attacks. Only five damage for now, but that's going to add up. I feel like the boar might feast on a team like this pretty readily. Uh, I didn't really notice their hedgehog there. That's a little bit annoying. And so is that. But then we have the bison uh, at the rear to kind of follow up on things like that. Seven trophies. I guess I'll level up the bison because I might as well. He's so strong anyway, I might as well let him keep going. Uh, we're going to put some steak on the snake because they rhyme. And then I don't really want any of this, so I'm just going to roll hoping for something better. Three of these things are better. We can put melon armor. Yep, that's going to be good next turn. Nothing there. And actually one of you is wanted. Perfect. So hopefully we win this one. Even if we don't, we have plenty of lives. That boar is going to be a pretty good handful for most teams to deal with, though that bison is also going to be a problem. My melon armor did survive me there. 
uh, melon armor again for the win, and that's why we get melon armor children. Eighth trophy. Okay, so first of all, we want to upgrade the snake, because he's going to do 10 damage now to random idiots. The melon armor I'm probably going to hold on to for now, because I want to upgrade the bison. The melon armor is probably going to go to the snake next turn, but that's a pretty dangerous lineup. Would be better if I had a better level 3 there, but that can also strip melon armor. So we got two units that are getting close to 30-30, which is pretty good. Uh, I kind of wish we had more firepower, but we can only do so much. I mean, as it is, the boar is obviously doing some pretty big damage. Whatever he doesn't get, the bison finishes off. Trophy number nine. So I was going to melon armor the snake. As funny as that damage is, um, we can do better. All right, let's try and level up the monkey, I guess, while we're at it. Uh, nothing there. And there's the last piece we need. And also a boar. And also a pear. Uh, ooh, this is trophy nine out of ten on turn 15 already, though. That goes so quickly. But a board like that, uh, unless you can steamroll it right away, which even something like this can't, uh, we're in pretty good shape because we already took out that much of their team. Oh, they have a fun build with all the uh, the buses. Great. Oh, those sheep are getting stronger. Wow, look at them all. I might have to watch a replay and see how they did that. <laughs> we just drawed that team, which does make me a little bit nervous because things are obviously getting... Look at all the boars. Boar there, boar there, and monkeys. If we get a level 3 boar, we can get rid of the mosquito and replace it with something better because the bison still needs help. So I'm going to freeze that there and um, there we go. So the bison is up to 38 and the boar is up to 40, 37, which should be terrifying for anyone because they're pretty much as strong as you can get for a unit. Uh, we're going to trade there, but that's okay. The snake is also doing a lot of damage. And then the bison follows up to, uh, well, destroy everything in its path. That was a strange lineup, and it could have been so much better with a better mosquito. I mean, I'll, I'll take a victory, though. Melon armor. Okay, this might seem a little stupid, and it is a little bit stupid, but we're we're going to level up a, a beaver to level 3. I don't know why, but just because we can. I mean, it's only useful if you sell it. But the penguin will also boost it. We're only going to have 4 units. Um... I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but I'm not really sure why I ever do anything. But we have a level 8-8 beaver up the front who's at least going to take out the first two idiots. Uh, and then it's up to the rest of them to take out the rest of them. And they didn't even do it. But we can now add in a swan. We can add in a fish uh, who's also going to get boosted by the penguin now. So the penguin is a good find this early on. Uh, other than that, we're just going to give everyone some salad. And hopefully this turn works out better than last turn. I don't know what to say, really. A level 3 beaver. I doubt very many people have ever bothered to get one of those, and I don't blame them. All right, well, we did get a deer, so let's be annoying and throw a deer up front for now. Uh, we're also going to give it some extra attack power just to be extra annoying, I guess. And there's also another deer and a penguin, so we'll go like that, and then we're just going to wait for the next turn. I'm kind of hoping that deer can, like, kill something initially, then the bus can hit the two things behind that, if that makes sense. It seems to work. I don't really know if that actually works, but it did in this case. Okay, so I guess we'll stack up the penguins for a second, and then we're going to stack the penguins again. So now everything that's leveled up is going to get big stats. Uh, because we did get a cow, I don't want to waste that right now. The swan's a better long-term thing, but whatever. I want this beaver to be super-powered. Oh, and there's a red pill we need for next time to get a melon shield, and there's another penguin if we want it, which, whatever, we'll take it. Why not? 16, 18 beaver already. And I'm relying on his deer. Oh, it's not going to take out the horse, but it's almost going to take out the horse. And then I'm pretty sure the uh, rest of the team can carry itself pretty nicely. Trophy number three. Kind of miss my swan now. I do like that extra money a lot. I don't think I'm going to try and upgrade the penguin anymore, but I'm going to give his beaver some melon armor. Oh, I guess now I need to replace that with something. I have a level three beaver, so I might as well throw a bison down for now. Before doing that, we're going to give him one of these. So he's eight, seven to start. We're going to freeze that just in case he finds something better. Uh, we're going to throw him maybe up front, though. I want him behind the deer. But the bison gets a boost. Those two get a boost. Everyone gets a boost. Except for the deer. It'd be nice to get a, a level 2 deer. Eh, our lineup's fine for now, though. It'll carry us at least a few more rounds. Oh, and there's a monkey. So let's put the deer there instead. We'll just get rid of the fish. As much as that does pain me, we can get a big boost for our beaver now. Then we're going to stack up the bison. Oh, I probably should have used that, huh? Well, we'll spend a few more times to see if we get anything stackable. And we didn't really, so we're going to use that. We're going to freeze that. We're going to have really strong store units pretty soon. 2022 beaver. 2325 beaver, rather. With melon armor, I might add. So by the time he's done trucking, uh, we might have most of their lineup defeated. Glad we got that out of the way. Now the bus is going to come in and hit those two. And the shark is dead. Cool. 
Again, I have no idea what I'm building, but it seems to be working. Look at all these store unit upgrades. I'm going to keep that just for fun in case we get something like a boar. Now, what do we do? Do we take out the deer for the boar? I guess so. I don't know if that's a great idea, but we're going to do it because we can boost that twice. And we could buy a 1610 boar from the shop. We can also freeze a parrot. Look how strong things here are, though. Uh, the deer might have been better. We have lots of firepower. Hmm, we'll see. We're gonna freeze those two and off we go. We're getting plenty of boost every round now too, so we should hopefully be able to just keep marching. Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, I guess we do still have our beaver though, don't we? Oh, never mind. Well, that's how it all <laughs> falls apart. I should have just kept doing things that I wasn't sure about rather than adding a boar. This build wasn't really going anywhere until now. We've got a hippo. We're about to put a monkey behind it, but we're also going to upgrade the monkey and everything else before we do that. I also have a crocodile that's going to throw eight damage towards whatever enemy at the start of battle. I'm going to put a parrot behind that to be annoying. Now we're going to do eight damage twice to a random enemy. We're going to freeze a penguin, hoping for a uh, sunnier days there. I'm also going to upgrade the hippo. Now when he knocks something out, he gets plus four, plus four. So he kind of heals himself. i also going to freeze a mammoth. I might actually put this in front of the hippo next turn. That way when he dies, the hippo gets an extra boost. But let's see how this is going to go. 13, 16 hippo on round 10 can be defeated, depending on what we run into. So he's going to destroy this fish. We destroyed the backlog of their lineup. Uh, now it's just a matter of <laughs> tearing through the rest of it. Six trophies. Yeah, I'm going to take out this swan because he's kind of weak. And I'm going to put an 11-4 mammoth up front because that's quite strong. I'm going to save the penguins for now. They'd only boost the hippo, which would be good, but not good enough. I'm going to throw that out there. We're going to roll level two mammoth. I might as well just stack those for now. We don't have a level two mammoth yet. Oh, if we get a mushroom on a mammoth, he comes back to life and does his boost again, I think. There's also melon armor and a boar. All of which are very good. A boar-hippo combination could be absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I didn't... well, whatever. Kind of forgot that's a thing, but it's never a bad sign having a 1619 mammoth up front. We're gonna be okay, but that was way closer than I wanted it to be. That was scary. Trophy number seven. Right, so now we're gonna switch things up just a little bit. The mammoth's gotta go. That kind of hurts, but it's gotta go. So we're gonna put a boar up front with melon armor followed by a hippo with garlic armor. It's tempted to give this mushroom to something, but I don't really have anything that does something good on spawn. So I'm gonna freeze that and we're basically just gonna give the boar some more power because the boar could basically single-handedly carry us through everything. So he's basically guaranteed to do 40 damage or whatever's in front of him, which happens to be another boar. That parrot is strong, wow. Okay, that parrot is actually a really big prop. Oh, all of their units are strong. Oh, they have a giraffe and stuff fueling it though. That was a really good team for this turn. That was basically my team several turns later. And here's another weird one. It's round four. We have a level three otter already. Again, an otter is not really anything we care about, but we do also have a turtle already. And level three otter isn't going to hurt anything. But also let's give him a meat bone. That way he's now doing 12 damage. And that's just going to be really annoying for other people to have to deal with. Uh, while we're at it, let's put the swan at the back of the line and give him some honey. So we're early on that this otter should do some pretty big damage to everyone. Could use a little more health, but he went through half of their lineup before they even got to anything else. And well, since the game's offering, we're going to sell the duck. That's going to boost shop, idiots. Uh, I guess it's time to give some garlic armor to probably my level 3 armor. Uh, level 3 otter, rather. You go there. Now you get garlic armor. The giraffe's going to boost you every turn. And then we're going to spin in, hope to find eventually the ox that gets boosted by level 3 idiots. But they never show up when you want them to. I was going to give garlic armor to the beaver. Instead, we're going to sell the beaver and get a puffer fish low fish and we're maybe gonna freeze some of that because i can use that next turn but there we go 810 otter with garlic uh melon armor so he's gonna do a guaranteed 16 damage to whatever's in front of him and absorb a big hit as well so early on it's great having this that's not gonna go for super long but it's good to have for now we could upgrade this sheep i never use them a lot because i assume they aren't good but that probably means they are good. I'm going to give garlic to the blowfish because every time he gets hit, he's going to hurt something else. And I like hurting things. Okay, I guess we're going to give the giraffe a boost and probably the blowfish a boost. We'll use the cell next turn because the otter is going to get a boost anyways. So melon armor for the win again. We took out two of their idiots there. The blowfish is also good. They have a badger on the end, which kind of sucks for us because, well, we're going to trade here, but yeah, we lost. The game also just did give us a badger but i don't really want to use that on this build we're going to upgrade the giraffe that was giving the two friends in front of it a boost a scorpion could be good for now just because it would one shot whatever's in front of it so i'm going to sell the sheep for a scorpion melon armor is probably not going to be a thing for a while so we're going to assume it's not a problem oh but here's the bison i've been looking for for a while and also a hippo 
and garlic armor. So we'll take both of those and figure out what to do with those next turn. We could probably put them both there. But let's see if this scorpion's going to do anything useful. Well, that's useful, I guess. And this otter is still rather strong. Hmm. Not a bad lineup, actually. Now, do we want to feed a hippo or a bison? The bison's going to get a double boost, so I think we're just going to go straight up for the bison. So we're going to take out maybe the scorpion. No, we're going to take out the... The blowfish is going to run out of steam before the scorpion does. So you go there. And I'm going to give you garlic armor. That way you don't die instantly. I'm also going to freeze the red pill in case I can get it melon armor. And we're probably going to use this and spin once. And then I might incorporate the hippo next turn. So we'll save the garlic armor in case that's a thing. But for now, uh, we're going to get some major power down the center. And I'm hoping my scorpion is able to... Well, oh, they took out my scorpion. Oh, that's not great. That was a perfect counter to my team. Their skunk and their uh, dolphin attacks right away. So that kills things like scorpions right away. All right, so let's basically say forget the scorpion then. Uh, we're going to put that there, that there, that there maybe. Again, not sure if that's a great idea, but it's the one we're going with. We're going to upgrade the bison just a little bit. I'm going to give up finding a turtle for the melon armor because the odds just aren't really in its favor. Penguins interesting we're gonna freeze things like this so the ox got up to 13 13 at least if the hippo can get a few yeah lucky things like this it can actually kind of heal itself through this the dog's gonna be a problem obviously but we have melon armor ourselves that's only trophy number five but our team is starting to pick up steam and there we go that's certainly oh there's my beloved boar also all right well i kind of like the firepower so i'm gonna get rid of the swan for now but the giraffe is gonna boost oh don't do that yet we want this first that way the boar goes there, and then we're probably going to use one of these to boost also the boar again. So we have lots of firepower. And when I end turn, this guy's going to get a pretty good boost. He's going all the way up to 1919. I should almost throw him in the front to take out the strongest unit, and then the uh, boar can go to work better than this. But this is going to be okay. I am going to swap them around though. And like always, when you get to this point, you're going to be faced with so many interesting choices. So I'm going to be stupid and go like this. And then we have a 16-8 crocodile who's going to replace you. Don't know if that's a great idea yet, but we could potentially get a stronger crocodile. I'm sure they throw a lot of damage and that's all very good stuff. Oh, and also we could have a level 2 crocodile plus melon armor for one of those two plus yeah okay i really need melon armor on something up front though because a scorpion would destroy me and that makes me nervous those two traded but now we have a boar who's going to start working his way through the crowd mm, this will work because we still have him a level three otter for some reason trophy seven okay i'm definitely going to give the boar the melon armor then it's debatable which one should be in front for now i want to level three crocodile because i've never seen level two crocodile rather because i've never seen one so he deals 16 damage to the last enemy okay and then after this turn we could have a level two boar that's getting fed by a monkey also but we'll see how this turn goes there's no guarantees in this game but he's up to 29 29 the boar is 16 and 12. he can be killed but he's gonna do a lot of damage uh and he's gonna heal himself through a lot of well not so much anymore and this is an annoying summoning build so we'll see if we manage to tear through this and we did so i'm gonna give up the giraffe because he's only boosting well he's boosting these two but the uh, the bison already gets a buff the boar needs more buff and the boar is also going to be up to that oh the tiger cub is also uh very good also because if i put the tiger cub behind the boar before attacking the boar is going to gain plus eight plus eight uh i'm not going to do that yet there's also a snake which could be incorporated somewhere very strongly uh, so for now, I'm just going to pretend I don't have all these amazing options and just roll the dice like this. But the boar is up to 2117 with melon armor, so he's going to do 42 damage to whatever's in front of him. Which is going to be a pretty strong bus, uh, which we traded with, but we still got a lot of firepower down our lineup. So is it going to work? We drawed. Okay, the one thing I am going to do is swap you to melon armor. It's just better because you do a guaranteed 66 damage. Not really sure what I want to do from here. I could get rid of the otter. But the otter is so strong as it is. And he's given a lot of boost to the bison, so I don't really want to drop that. What I need is another level 3 idiot, so we'll give you that for now. We'll pretend all these fun ex options again don't exist, and we're going to put some honey on you, just in case you die. Because that's got to be making a difference. We are doing 16 damage to whatever's at the rear. Uh, if we put a tiger behind that, we could do more. Because if we're going to one-shot their monkey, that's way overkill. They also did a lot of damage to us. Uh, we have a strong lineup, though, so <laughs> overall we're okay. I'm stressing about what doesn't really matter. Is the crocodile overkill though? Like he does 16 damage to usually a monkey or something anyways. Do I get rid of him? Yeah, let's make it interesting. Let's get rid of the uh, crocodile. He was very strong. Not sure this is a great idea. But we're going to put the tiger behind you. That way you gain plus 8 plus 8. Oh, maybe we can find another boar. Level 3 boar. Oh, and there's another boar. 
So we have a level 3 boar, so he's going to gain plus 12, plus 12 before every attack. Uh, also, we can get rid of the otter now if we want to, because the boar will fuel the bison, so the otter can go. We'll put in a snake behind you, because every time you attack, you're also going to attack. Uh, this is a stupid team, and I love it. We're going to save you, because we can also have a level 2 snake. Okay, well, let's see how this team goes. You're up to 41, 41. The boar is 30 and 26. But before he even attacks, he's going to get a nice buff. Uh, I just want to watch this go. So he's up to 38 and 4 now. Oh, okay. So this maybe isn't going to go as well as I thought it would. Well, he got a nice buff there at least. We took the melon armor off you. You got it back. And we're going to continue walking through you guys. Okay, that got very confusing. But there's another win on turn 15. I was really hoping that one would keep going. We could have a level 2 snake, level 2 tiger. But... That was an insane team too.